Hey guys, welcome back to the um, second edition of the TiVo Tornado Beyond the Limits. <clears throat> In today's video, we are going to be testing the tornado to see how well it can print moving parts. And this is going to be a pretty quick little video, but I think it will show you some pretty cool stuff about the tornado that um, might give you some insight if you don't want to have to mess around with the tolerances between parts. So let's get right in to that time lapse. Here we go. While this time lapse is going, I might as well tell you about my Patreon page where you can support my channel and help me produce more content like this. That is in my about um, under links. Okay, so here we go. Here is the model. Um, it also has a base with it. It was, I printed this for the Save the Pangolins Day, which was last month, um, the third Saturday of last month, actually. And this was with no messing with the tolerances or anything. Um, all I had to do was pop the feet on, which they come off pretty easily. Um, I'll show you that. In a second but these even these little pieces move um, yeah but the feet just print off separately uh, and they clip right in place just on the bottom of the model and I'll show it before I put the feet back on actually I'll just show you the bottom of the model so it has hinges that allow the model to actually move in one piece and it stays together and this prints it out flat on a raft um, it's kind of like that with the feet right beside it and let's just pop those feet back on you kind of saw how that works they just clip right on the bottom and the really cool thing is that this model can roll up into a little ball there the feet it just took a few seconds and roll up into a little ball fairly quickly and sit right in this little carrying bit which holds it so yeah I'll get some close-up stuff for you guys here in a second um, and I hope you like that time lapse. Uh, I printed both of the parts during the time lapse. So, yep, that's pretty much it for the the model goes. I'll get some close up shots. I print this at 0.3 millimeter layer height, 220 degrees with the Xylotech green PLA, um, and the text printed out on the model, which was really cool. All the parts worked really well. I also printed it in wood fill. I just don't feel like taking that model down. It's exactly the same as this one. Um, but yeah, overall it's a really cool model and the Tornado does a great job of printing moving parts all in one piece. So I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this every single weekend, Saturdays and Sundays. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.